Welcome back, friends. We have to say goodbye to Ustream's very own Vicky Wright. It's, uh, it's a sad old day. Oh, I'm down here in Wimborne at the Tivoli Theatre on the set, as you can see, of Ustream's Left, Right and Centre, the award-winning panel show. And I'm sitting in Miles Crawford's seat. And we're all a little bit quiet today. Not only because we miss our friend Vicky Wright, but because in 15 minutes, her fiance, Bobby Davro, will be turning up. Yes, he's, he knows he's committed to, uh, to appearing on this show, uh, on these shows. He didn't come yesterday, obviously, so I sat in and my friend Robert Hart sat in. But uh, Bobby, the old trooper, he's brushed away the tears and he's back today to record four shows. Uh, here at the Tivoli Theatre uh, in Wimborne. There are tickets on sale. We've got two shows this afternoon at half past two and two shows at 7.30. And we're all a little bit down thinking about Vicky. You know Vicky, you've seen her. You Ustream members would, uh, would know all about Vicky. And for those of you uh, who are not subscribers, uh, you might have seen little clips on YouTube of, of Saturday Night Live where the poor girl used to be, we used to get her to read these children's poems and then do as much as we possibly could to put her off. And, uh, and I'd write the wrong words and put dirty words in and then someone would have a fart machine and try and make her laugh. And she put up with all of it. She was just great. Yes, it's Sunday Night Live. Hello children, and welcome to today's story. It was a lovely day in Dillydale. Mrs. Decency woke up and made breakfast for her husband, Mr. Swearword. Here we are, darling. I've made you some breakfast. Don't want it, poo bum, said Mr. Swearword. It's bacon and eggs and a nice cup of coffee. No thanks, you rotter, said Mr. Swearword. What on earth's up with him, thought Mrs. Decency. Normally, he'd say, shove it up your ass, you fat old cow. She's been Bobby's uh, squeeze and girlfriend and fiancé. Uh, for a long, long while, and they were a great couple. She was the daughter of Billy Wright and Joy Beverly. The Beverly sisters were three like of the white version of the Supremes in the 60s, I guess. They were absolutely fabulous, and their daughters uh, put together uh, a, a similar type of group back in the 80s that did work with me uh, in the summer seasons called the Foxes, and, and they were uh, super. But Billy Wright, who was England captain and, and Joy Beverly were the posh and becks of their time and, uh, and, and Vicky only within the last year had written and produced and directed a show for her, about her father Billy Wright and did it up at the Molyneux in Wolves to everybody and it's so sad that she's, she's not here. We all deal with bereavement in different ways I was speaking to someone today, I tend to, as you get older, you, you go to more funerals than you go to weddings. I'm going off to Bob Potter's funeral soon. Linda Lewis died yesterday as well, the backing singer. She was a lovely girl, friend of mine. Lovely. You just got to push it to one side. Put it in the hurt locker. This is the thing about the game I'm in. I remember going on stage when my father died just the thing you have to do. You can't let people down. You've got to push it to one side. And they say, I wonder why them showbiz people drink a lot. You do. So Vicky, up there somewhere, talking to Jethro and her dad. Um, goodbye from all of us that's watching on YouTube and from all your friends and our members in Ustream. Sleep well, darling.